Marvelous Marco. I want to let everybody know that they did start their first match off stream, but as seeing as I had like a dead time right now, I was like, cool. I want to see if they're okay with me grabbing the match right now, even though Ben has already played game one, basically, and he won game one. So if anybody was wondering in the VOD, like what happened to game one, they basically played off stream and I asked them if I could grab their match regardless. And they're very good hey. folks about it, so thank you guys. So did Marco play Zelda this whole time? I don't know. I don't know if he wins Zelda against Ven game one. I'm just telling you right now they played off stream game one. Well, I don't know. I never seen Marco play Zelda before, and Vin's only played Zelda. And I imagine he's the type of person that like other Zelda players always want to ditto him all the time because it's the best Zelda. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what people do, right? Like, if you're the best of a certain character, like, people try to, like, diddle you a lot. I'm, I don't know. I, I'm just saying. I'd be surprised if Vin loses to Marco's pocket Zelda. But, gotta stock. <laughs> and I guess that's the start. This is a very weird ditto, too. I'm not even sure what's supposed to actually be happening in this match. Like, do they both just use the knight over and over? I don't, I don't even you know get, how you, you go get, about winning a Zelda Ditto, to be honest. I wonder how, like, how Zelda Dittles are meant to be played. But I always tell people, losing a Ditto isn't indicative of, like, who is the stronger player. It's just more of, like, who is able to effectively get their combos off and read someone better. Like, contrary to popular belief, like, just because you win a Ditto doesn't mean you're the better main of the character. It just, it, everybody plays Dittles differently. I hate Dittos. I actually hate most of those, to be honest. Yeah, I don't like to play them usually either. But I guess it depends on the character. Wow, damn. <laughs> Back it. It looked like it was such a guaranteed thing, but I'm not sure it was. Yeah. Either way, Vin oh. is having no problems here, yeah. Yeah, he Got should. I mean, he, he is definitely a Zelda main. Like, he, he knows all the Zelda setups. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I didn't really see any setups for Marco, really. No. I think I'm curious to hear from the chat. Like, what do you what? I know someone said in the chat they don't like dittos. But like, what, what's your guys' consensus? Do you guys all hate dittos or are you guys OK with them? Like, I'm, I'm, I want to hear from the chat. Do you guys like dittos? And of course, if you're watching the bot on YouTube, let me let, type it in then. Do you guys like dittos? Do, I hate the snake ditto. It was boring for me to watch. Uh, I think, oh, and actually, it's not that bad. Uh, DK ditto was fun. I like dittos of my main PT. I hate the Rosalina ditto, but I don't mind the Lucina ditto. Okay. PT ditto doesn't count. Low key, it doesn't. Low key. I don't really like the snake ditto to play, honestly. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just too chaotic on this stage. Snake ditto can be fun to watch, but I think playing it is not that great. I think both players are currently sensing some, some latency, so I'm curious if they're going to go through with it. Let's go ahead and switch and see what they said here. Okay, I guess they're going through with here. Yeah, I guess the latency is gone. There was a bit of a latency spike here. Wi-Fi okay. will be Wi-Fi, as they say. Well, in spite of all that, um, Marco's going to his uh, character I, he's more known for, uh, this Toon Link. Opting out of doing the Zelda Ditto again. I'm not sure if he did Zelda Game 1, but Game 2 wasn't really that hot. So, we'll see what happens here in this one. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know how Ben will play this, but Marco is definitely one of those players who's very strong with him. Like we, we already had him on the stream earlier. He did lose 3-1 to Ape and Ben off stream and winner semis. Ape and Ben, of course, taking the 3-1. Excellent empty hop here, faking out that opportunity and forcing Zen to just jump out of shield. Yeah, I always want to see whenever a projectile character fights someone with a reflector. Like, how are they going to use their projectiles in a way to bait out the the reflector and then punish from there? Yeah, and the crazy thing about all three links is you can just angle the boomerang 
and then you can punish from there likewise. So that's why I tell people like it, even against reflectors, like boomerang is still really good because you can just angle it and then you force them. And then a lot of reflectors do have that end lag in which you can punish them accordingly. Some interesting ledge play coming out from both players. Oh, that looker could barely killed. But we'll take it. Up B, and then the bomb is going to explode for another up B. Yep. yep. Great recovery, but unfortunately... Wow, but he still the grabbed the ledge twice. Yeah, that's the going problem. Yeah. That, it, Vin is like, okay, that was really cute and all, but um, thanks for the free dare, bro. Like, <laughs> thank you so much. I don't know what she thought literally, you thought. Literally, it was, a, it was adorable to watch. I honestly think he just did that to try to waste all of Vin's invincibility. Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. But died for it anyway, so it wasn't even really worth it. At that point, you should have just gotten him back from the ledge. That's why you don't see a lot of players go for that, because remember, when you re-grab a ledge, you do lose your ledge invincibility. The so passive shield the is... Set up. Yeah. For Hamilio's question, to my knowledge, it does not. I've got it because the sword swing from the knight is what hits you. I don't know. I don't know about that lag spike there. Vin's gonna take that stock, but okay, dang, jump to that forward smash. All right, I guess Marco's fine with it now. <laughs> okay, reversal B. Oh, oh, I like that setup, even though it didn't work. I, I definitely like what he went for there. If he like got the right hit for the bomb, it would have come into like the downer spike. Yeah, unfortunately, really, that was really a good situation. Setup. Very close to getting that though. So all three links, passive shield does block, but it will not block knight because knight is a sword swing. It's not registered as a, it's kind of weird, but it's the sword swing that's different. It's one of the few things in the game that's registered as like a physical projectile from what I understand, because it's basically a projectile up until the sword swing. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't block it with. Oh, got the jump. Link's passive. Nice. Yeah. So if he space correctly on the stage, if he crouches, uh, he can block the sword swing. Yeah. Basically, that's the only thing you can do. That's the crazy thing about it. Like the passive shield is really good against like you can do it against Din's fire. You can't do it against anything else on Zelda. Basically, yeah, because the sword swing comes from the bottom and the, the passive shield doesn't cover young Link's, all, any of the Link's feet. Mm -hmm. Let me check the chat. I think Ven just left. I, do they want to play off stream now? <laughs> I'm double checking there was to make sure. Like, I guess. Because Marvel's Marvel did just offer Ven the DQ as a quick, as a quick quick thing really quick right now that happened sorry um yeah crouch does lower the shield all right marvelous marco has offered them the dq and marvelous marco has dq'd and that will do it <laughs> So was it actually Marco that was having issues? I think he's having issues with Wi-Fi. And Marvel's Marco just DQ'd, so. Okay.